A compressor is a mechanical device that increases the pressure of a gaseous fluid by reducing its volume so that it can be transported through pipes. Considering that pumps are built to pressurize and transport liquid fluids, which by definition have such a low compressibility as to be considered incompressible, the compressor is instead designed to transport gaseous fluids by compressing them to increase their pressure and reduce their volume by several times. Compressors are used for many applications involving increasing the pressure or decreasing the volume of a gas. They are used, for example, in the transportation of natural gas in pipelines, in refrigeration, and air conditioning equipment. To start nomadic tools, and even to increase the performance of internal combustion engines. For this reason, there is not a single type of compressor that works for all applications, but there are several models which adapt to the context. We can immediately divide them into two broad categories, positive displacement compressors and dynamic compressors. Compression in positive displacement compressors is given by well-defined mechanical movements, whereas Compression in dynamic compressors is obtained by the pace given to the rotating parts. Among the positive displacement compressors, there are the piston compressor, which exploits the activity performed by an electric or thermal motor to increase the gas pressure. To be compressed, the gas is sucked into the cylinder by the piston through the intake valve, while the compressed gas is expelled from the exhaust valve. Usually, the compressed gas is stored in a tank to diminish the pressure and flow fluctuations due to the reciprocating motion of the piston. Furthermore, having a tank means that the compressor doesn't need to be running all the time. Moving on, we come to analyze what is called a rotary vane compressor. Here we have a very different type of product from the previously mentioned piston compressor. A circular rotor is equipped with vanes, which are pushed by springs to keep them constantly in contact with the walls of the circular cavity against which they slide. However, the rotor is not centered on the cavity, thus creating variable volume chambers at its maximum on the suction side and on its minimum on the delivery side, thus obtaining gas compression. On the other hand, a lobe compressor has rotors with a characteristic shape of two or three lobes, which rotate synchronously and in opposite directions, creating progressive chambers from the suction mouth to the delivery one. Being simple, with no rubbing parts, they are robust and long-lasting machines. They are often used in supercharged auto cycle engines. Similarly to the previously mentioned model, in the rotary screw compressor, Two reverse pitch screws are connected to each other so as to develop, through the core of the compressor, a cavity progressively moving from the intake to the exhaust area, decreasing the volume and thus compressing the gas. Having little stress, this mechanical variety is suitable for continuous use and has good performance. Lastly, among the positive displacement compressors, there is what is known as a scroll compressor. This type of compressor uses two spirals, one inside the other. One is fixed and one performs a planetary movement without rotation in order to compress the gas between them. Among the dynamic compressors, on the other hand, there is a centrifugal compressor. A centrifugal compressor is a turbo machine in which the bladed disc called an impeller, is set to rotate at a very fast pace, thus generating and supplying energy to the gas, which subsequently increases its pressure due to the centrifugal force. They are largely used to supercharge motors in the automotive industry. Finally, among the category of the dynamic compressors, we find the axial compressor. In an axial compressor, a bladed rotor is followed by a bladed stator fixed to the frame. The coupling of a rotor and a stator is called a stage. The single stage of an axial compressor produces very low pressure, but thanks to its axial configuration, it becomes ideal for a multi-stage combination.
This takes place when the outgoing flow from the stator is set to enter consequently into the next stage. The gas then flows parallel to the axis of the rotation, and as it proceeds through the compressor, it reduces the volume while the pressure increases. Compared to the centrifugal compressor, it manages higher flow rates but with a lower compression ratio. Their configuration makes them ideal for jet engines. If you found this video useful for your knowledge, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We recommend that you visit our website, jawscompany.com, to find out about our upcoming projects.